do you feel uh, that there is a stigma for men even admitting they are stressed? And, and, and why do you feel that is? Well, we live arguably, and let me, let, let me say this here and uh, at the risk of sounding militant, um, it's not just a gender issue, but it's also cultural. Right, right, exactly. I agree with um, that. Our culture, we, we deal with stress differently than other cultures. Okay. We express ourselves differently. Men do it differently than women. And then our culture does it different than other cultures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and I think our culture takes it a whole nother place mm -hmm. because of what we've had to be. Mm -hmm. We've had to be some he men, some macho men. You know, we've had yeah, we, we, we've had to be some uh, superheroes uh, when there was no such thing as superheroes. Yeah. Uh, but um, more directly, we live in what I believe is arguably a patriarchal and hierarchical uh, society, okay. arguably. Um, I know that there are many women right now that would uh, beat me up for saying that or try um, because they don't like those words. Yeah. But the patriarchy is real right. and the hierarchy is real. Um, there's order, there's an order. To yeah, there's an order, yeah. uh, whether we like it or not. Uh, Darwinism, social Darwinism is real. Uh, as ugly as it is, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, classism and class culture, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But as a result of being a patriarchal society, people have a hard time understanding. What do you mean when you say that men are victims? Men run this. It's a man's world. James Brown said so. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a man's world. How in the world could you be a victim? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in a society that operates favorably to men, men get paid more, mm -hmm. uh, men get hired first, you know, mm -hmm. um, and it's just now getting to the point now where women are starting to even look toward the equals, you know, privileges that men have and all that kind of stuff. You know, we've been through uh, women's suffrage and women voting and all that stuff. You know, we went through all that. So yeah. how can you say men can be victims? And see, this is where we are in our minds. Right. And because of that, I believe, Shannon, that it keeps men from saying anything negative about myself or that I'm suffering from stress. Man, man what you talking about? It's yeah. a patriarchal society. Men are on top. If I say I'm not, then I'm weak. Mm -hmm. I'm frail. Never wrong. Never, Never wrong. Never wrong. I cannot be wrong. Yeah, I recollect it this way or yeah. that way, and, and you can't change the thought on so. Absolutely. I, yeah. I will argue with you um yeah, okay. about nothing and spin around in circles for hours before i say you know what you could be right you could be right hey, yeah. listen listen that don't cost you nothing that statement you just made is a very short phrase but it's very hard for people to come to just that statement you know what you could be right on that and that's yeah. even what we're doing here we're just discussing and talking yeah. uh so you can hear other, other people's thoughts and guess what you don't know everything. Not everything. I don't know everything. He don't know everything. And so as you get to a place of, I think, uh, vulnerability where you can say, you know what? You just what you just said, you could be right about that. You know, it it, it would even help you to realize, you know, maybe you, you even see it in television shows, bro, Craig. You see people show a version of something. It may be five people there. I think Martin Lawrence, they used to do it quite a bit, where everybody told their version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in the middle, there was a truth. Somewhere. But you go back 10, 15 years, even yesterday, a lot of stuff, you you, you probably missed a, a point, a key point yeah. that might bring it to exactly what happened, you know? But at the end of the day, a lot of times it don't even matter because you're missing, you, you're losing time for today. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a, a profoundly stated because, uh, you know, the old folk used to say it. They were right. There's always, there's your side, there's my side, then there's the truth. And, <laughs> and nobody, uh, not only do I not know everything, I don't even know most things. And I, I have to just mm -hmm. resolve that. I don't even know most stuff. There's too much stuff in the world. There's there's some folk in this world right now that's forgotten more than I'll ever learn. Exactly. And, uh, and, and I have to acknowledge that and, and reconcile with that. It's okay. I don't it have to know okay. everything. It's okay. It is okay. I love that. <laughs> Colonel Sanders said, uh, do one thing and do it well. He decided to do chicken. 
<laughs> and became okay. a multi-million billionaire. Okay, okay. And yeah. so I don't have to know everything, but what I do know, Paul said it like that. He said, I, I, I don't count myself to have apprehended. I haven't got a grasp on everything, but this one thing, I got this one right. <laughs> one thing I do know. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah absolutely. So, and you need and you need to find that thing that you that you that you're solid on and you understand. But I just think with us, I don't even think I see it. Uh, if the stress even of itself, always feeling like you got to be right or have the answer or can't admit that you're wrong, man, that in itself brings a level of stress. That's too much pressure for anybody. I can I can relax when I say, Whew, I don't have to know everything. Yeah. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let, me, let me give you a good example. I love golf. I love golf. Love me some golf. Right. right, right. Um, and I'm, I'm playing in a four man scramble. I don't want to be the best player on the team. OK, why not? Because there's too much stress. Because if the other three players mess up, they look at me and say, "Come on, Craig, he's gonna pull us through." You're the you're the ringer. You're the I want to be the ringer. Yeah. Man. And so in life, we were never called to be the ringer. Boy, we're called to be a teammates. Yeah. And see, me and Shannon can yeah. do more than Craig can by himself. Ah. Mm -hmm. You see. Yeah. Uh, 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 my, my professor and my mentor used to say to me all the time, if two people spend time together, that's considerable time and they never disagree, one of them ain't necessary. Yeah, somebody lying too. Somebody lying too. <laughs> so we, we get to get to a place where we um, start to compliment one another. Yeah, man. We were watching a basketball game the other night and guys started arguing about something that had no answer. Uh-huh. No answer, no. no way to even prove what you're saying. And absolutely. There's no answer to it. You're wasting good time. And my response to them was, you all are talking about something, some teams that aren't even in the playoffs. Let's watch the teams that are still playing. Yeah, preach. And, I understand. And that issue, that issue, um, we argue about stuff that's irrelevant. Let's argue about or let's discuss the things that are relevant today. Uh, it's so unfortunate. I've seen men not have the answer and struggle, struggle because they want to, they don't want to admit that they don't know. And I see the stress Absolutely. and, and, and it stresses the person out listening to because <laughs> they know you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but how can I help you or help us, you know, get to a place because you're not going to listen. And so now we are we are a, a stagnant. And sometimes it's okay to just say, okay. Yeah, yeah. we're going to agree to disagree because oh, we're at an impasse now. And yeah. while, while, while I'm talking, you're not listening to me. You're thinking about what you're going to say next. Because <laughs> you start talking as soon as I finish talking. That yeah. lets me know you weren't thinking about what I said. Yeah, yeah. Get that point ready for the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, I understand that. That, that. All that stuff, though, it, it really wears me out because I see it a lot. You're right in our culture. Yeah, yeah. Especially I see it. And I, I think it is because we have not seen what those role models maybe should have taught us. And we didn't see a lot of good examples. But you know what, Shannon? Here's another thing. Um, the stigma is also there because here, here it is. A, a infamous phrase made by many women in our culture to their men. You ain't no man. Oh, because you failed at this or you couldn't do that or you didn't know how to do this and you didn't know how to do that and yeah. so i can't admit that i don't know because if i do my woman might say you ain't no man right. and i can't handle that and now he goes overboard trying to prove that he is a man and even if it's physical sometimes now yeah. you brought in physical violence yeah. yeah you brought in external affairs i know somebody who thinks i'm a man Ooh. okay okay He's are you following me? Okay. Uh, I, I don't have to stay here and be rejected by you when I've got somebody who won't reject me. Wow. Wow. Okay. I, I see these things happen as a result of people not knowing how to deal with stresses. And we're talking about men, but those women that don't know how to deal with their stresses yeah. also hurt people. Yeah. And many times it's the men that they want to be better men that they're stressing out. Wow. That they're hurting. And where does he go to get help with that? You know what I'm saying? Where does he go? You know what? Uh, sadly, there's a lot of men who um, have been defeated by their own vulnerabilities. Can I say it like that? Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I don't, don't want to sound like I'm doing a double talk. No, no, I hear you. 
you, you're defeated by what you're vulnerable to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can't handle my vulnerability. So I'm going to do things to try to demonstrate that I'm not vulnerable. And as yeah. a result, I'm hurting me. I'm hurting my family. I'm hurting the person that I'm using. Yeah. Yeah. That person becomes a victim. I'm not really a victim, but I'm victimizing someone else because of how I've been victimized in the past. Right. Right. And it's a vicious, vicious cycle, man. It is a vicious um, cycle. And some people go right to suicide. So what have you just done? You think you've escaped all of the responsibility, but look what you left. Now you violated yeah. and voided the million dollar insurance for your family they yeah, can't get it yeah, yeah never thought of that yeah good point. you can't get it um you've you've abandoned your wife mm -hmm. and your children and your grandchildren and left a legacy that is hard to hard to overcome to, yeah hard to come to grips with you know what was his ending oh he killed himself yeah, yeah. what your daddy do yeah he killed himself sometimes um our mal-aligned thinking um we think that we'll it'll be better for my wife not to know that i did something i'll just kill myself i'll yeah. just leave i can see that yeah. then to be honest yeah i can see that uh sometimes it's pedophilia that's been a big one in this country okay. uh, men that became pedophiles and then they heard that someone was going to tell their wife so they killed themselves thinking that she wasn't going to find out and to get out of it yes and to get out of it to avoid having to face it Oh, um, those are vulnerabilities that many people, man, um, you know, um, one of my favorite aunts, um, I think she was my aunt. She may have just been my cousin, but I, I was young and she was old. So I thought she was my aunt. Um, <laughs> uh, she used to babysit us and take care of us in Alabama. And she shot herself in the head, killed herself. Mm. And, um, that rings in my head. I, I mean, I probably think of her monthly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I was a boy, I understand monthly, and uh, because she was she was an older friend, mm -hmm. and we talked a lot, mm -hmm. and all they told me was she shot herself in the head, mm -hmm. and they Le took us. Leaving you with just a question mark. I didn't even understand, right, right. and so um, not knowing how to deal with these things, man. There's there's a range of mental problems that happen as a result of stress. Um, and, and pain and past hurts and past uh, triggers that we really don't know. And Shannon, they, they, they're tough, man. Um, sometimes yeah. it's a stigma because I have to admit that there's an obstacle that I couldn't get past. I was too weak That's to handle one. something. That's a big one. Yeah. yeah man. It's a big one for yeah. all of I, us. I, I, I was too weak to deal with something. I even even to admit it to yourself is yes sir like a monumental thing to say hey man yes, this thing is this thing is a little bigger than me right here yeah i couldn't to say i could not right. and, but here, here's here's my response to that so what you couldn't okay brother life is hard okay that it, it, it's hard simple as okay? that okay you there's some stuff you can't do guess what there's some stuff everybody can't do but it's hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And man, to know what that does to a man is important. We and and you have to work at it. You, you still got to work at it. it. You can't yeah. quit. Yeah. You can't, can't quit. just say, I'm not going to do nothing. Since I can't yeah. do that, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to lay around it's, on my mama's yeah. couch. At, at yeah, it's hard. Time. I ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to get just, high I'm, every day now. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. That as an excuse. I tried, man, but they wouldn't give me no job. Yeah. You know that those excuses don't work we know we understand the stresses and i know that the stresses are real i know that there's difficulties i know there are obstacles i know there are more pit holes for young people to deal with now than we ever had to deal with mm -hmm. just like there are more for us than our parents had to deal with but man let me tell you something you cannot quit mm -hmm. those stress levels cannot be your final story yeah you know something i saw in my mind and i know uh i see people lifting weights and what you'll start off with you what you see some of that heavyweight sometime but you you know and you don't even need that to be honest but you think yeah. so and as you start you might start light but as you work at with the lightweight just what you can deal with eventually you build up the muscle the one day you get on the bar and you're able to push up 
to that next max and you're like man i couldn't do that two months ago you know yeah. so just working at and I, that may be the weakest example i could give but it's an example that, example you know that you can just just to get to your max that's why they call it your max weight your max what are you maxing at yeah what you, you max out at? yeah you max out so yeah. you might start off your max may be a little less or a little more than the next guy but don't make him less or more than you right right, right. you got to work on what your max is and don't try to exceed that because otherwise that thing gonna drop on you and you always need a spotter yeah. when you're working on your max you always need a spotter you yeah. never try to live this life without a spotter yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody spot me yeah yeah I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. you call somebody across the gym hey can yeah. you spot me man yeah yeah, yeah. I and that's what we're doing spot. now we're spotting people yeah, yeah. we're spotting that's people right what, now. what one of the reasons that god let you come into my life because i needed a spotter Okay. All right. All right. Well, we both need spotters. So yeah, I do it. Spotters. You do it. Yeah. We need spotters, man. You ever got caught under a weight before? It ain't. Yeah. You gotta yeah. eat. You gotta get, and then if you get up by that throat, you really done. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got. got you got almost yeah. to the side. Yeah. 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 But if you sit down with somebody, and say, "Hey, man, spot me," and when he spots you, sometimes you think you can't push more. He say one more, That's and right. he makes you push a couple of more times. You know what I'm saying? So all these things will help the stress level.